Okay, I'm going to start by selecting the heavy duty PM test. The first screen that pops up is a safety screen. A technician should wear safety glasses, safety shoes, and have no jewelry on. I'm now going to connect the load module to the battery pack. Step one in the heavy duty preventative maintenance test is removing the battery box cover. Okay, I'm now going to connect to the battery pack. I'm going to remove the control module from the load module. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to start by selecting the number of batteries in the pack. This truck has three. The tester is now prompting me to enter the VIN. I can do that a couple different ways. If I have a barcode on the truck, I can use a camera to scan it in optically. The VIN is now entered. If there was no barcode or QR code to read, the technician could enter it manually. Next, I'm going to enter the vehicle ID or truck number. The last box here to check is a current probe, if it's one that's being used during the test. Using the current probe will give you additional information about the alternator test, including alternator current output and alternator cable voltage drop. I'm going to continue by pressing done and then OK. All right, next is prompting me to enter the rating of a single battery in the battery pack. I'm going to hit enter. Choose the rating type, CCA. There's some other options available. I'm going to hit enter, and we have 750 CCA batteries. Next, I'm going to choose the battery type. We have a choice between standard flooded, AGM, or some thin plate pure light options, North Star and Odyssey. We have standard flooded. Next, I'm going to take the temperature of the battery pack. I can do that with the infrared thermometer located on the back of the load module. I'm going to point that at the battery pack, either the top, the side, or in the general area. Our battery temperature is 44 degrees. I'm going to save, and I'm going to press Start Battery Test to continue with the battery pack test. Okay, here's our results for the battery pack test. The test passed. It has a loaded voltage of 12.15 volts, and a state of charge of 100%. This will allow us to proceed to the remaining part of the test. If we had a known electrical system problem on this truck, we would want to test the batteries individually. I'm going to press proceed to start our test. Prompt me probe not detected. Use current probe during test. I'm going to choose yes and connect the probe. I'm now going to connect the current probe to the load module. Also, I'm going to connect the voltage drop lead banana jacks to the load module. Okay, I'm going to press OK to zero current probe. Next, the tester pops up a screen showing me where to make the electrical connections. If using a current probe, it shows where to connect that. It gets connected to the alternator output wire. And then the small leads get connected to the alternator. The positive lead is the alternator output connection. The negative lead is the alternator ground, or in some cases, alternators have an isolated ground, and, should, and it should be connected to that. Next, I'm going to move the wires out of the way of any moving parts or hot exhaust as we will be starting the engine. The big leads remain connected to the battery pack. I'm going to press OK to continue. Okay, I'm going to enter the alternator rated output. We have 160 amp alternator. This screen tells me to turn the key to the run position, turn off accessories, and wait a short while for the ECU to power up before proceeding. This gives the engine time for the grid heater to cycle on and cycle off. Okay, I'm going to press OK. Okay, the tester is now prompting me to start the engine. All right, this timer allows the engine to warm up a little bit and let the oil start circulating before revving the engine. Okay, I'm going to rub the engine to governor speed. Rubbing it to governor speed allows the alternator to get into its efficient range for maximum output. Okay, return engine to idle. Next, the tester is asking me to select the number of cylinders for the engine. We have a six-cylinder engine. 
The tester needs this information to calculate the cranking RPM. Next, the screen is prompting me for the engine type, gasoline or diesel, and the engine displacement. The tester needs this information to apply the proper pass-fail criteria for the voltage drop on the starter cables. We have a 6.7 liter engine. Press OK. Test is finished. Turn engine off. Okay, here's our results from the heavy duty PM test. We have a beginning voltage of 12.66 volts, a minimum cranking voltage of 11.11, .11, cranking current of 523 amp, cranking RPM 222, and the tester has recommended a full system test or an individual starter V-drop test because it has identified a starter V-drop concern. I can press more results to view the alternator test. The alternator test shows the voltage regulation is 14.14, the diodes is 118 millivolts, charging current 165 amps, and the voltage drop on the alternator cables is 0.357 volts at 160 amps. That concludes the heavy duty PM test. Here is a summary of the PM test results. There's also a comment box at the bottom. The technician can add any comments that he would like. Mm -hmm.